Dear viewers, in this lecture, I'm just going to show that how we'll design and analysis a circular columns by using Tecla tabs. So let's start. And before starting, if you're new here, you can watch our previous lecture. That uh, video playlist are given in description. And uh, so, um, first of all, I have opened our software. Okay, so after opening our software, simply have to click here, new. And before that, you have to uh, change here the code and uh, you know. Uh, previous every lecture I have just shown you that so from here I'll just go concrete and from here I'll just go RCC column and here uh, RCC column design then continue okay um, when I'm here then a interface will come here and wait for some time so here so here is our uh, interface and from here you have to select loading tab which types of loads uh, working so um, in previous lecture I have just shown you about uh, by Excel Unixel so here I am only using uh, Excel load for column I am considering that here only Excel loads are applied it on our structure so when um, it's done after that I will change that option okay design code so here I am using uh, SCI 31811 you can change any code as you record so okay so I can also use 8 so it's done after that uh, here okay here you have to change design load what will be the design load so consider I will design our structure for 100 keep I mean I will design our column for 100 keep loads so I'll just give here okay and wait for some time and uh, here I'll just go finally for column because our uh, load is fixed but we can we are able to change our column section so I'll just come here and from here I'll just use circular column okay circular column here and after that I'll click OK and after that I'll again go here if it is OK and I'll just go here design load so it's 100 keep then OK right now uh, see here I'll just go here column details and I'll change the size so for 100 keep load I will if I consider our uh, diameter or depth for circular column that is 10 inch okay so that is uh, 10 inch and here uh, the clear height 10 feet clear height 10 feet and effective length factor that will be 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 because of because uh, uh, we'll consider that our that sorry here 0 0.5 because we'll consider that our uh, column are fixed at top and bottom okay so uh, when it's done and it's braced or it should be braced for a circular column so here you have to select the concrete compressive strength so i'm just using that and the reinforcement and also you can write here and also you can write here as per your requirement then clear cover 1.5 also you can write here what do you know and then um, dime bar designation number so which bar we have to use i will use number five bar and how much obviously six for circular column and uh, lateral ties what about the lateral ties here minimum spacing 10 inch and here we have provided six inch okay I mean that's okay and bar designation number I will use sorry I will use number three bar okay I will use three bar and what you want to use do you want to use the um, lateral tie or uh, spiral tie so it's better to use spiral tie uh, in circular so here the minimum minimum piece is 2.25 as per SCI. So I'll just give it 2.5. Okay, sorry. 2. Point, I'll just give 2.5. After when everything is okay, now I'll simply click okay and again click okay. Now see the section or my reinforcement we have provided here. We, we I mean the capacity of that column is 195 but we have provided 100 keep okay I mean um, almost we have um, used here 50 percent safety and also if you need that you can change that anytime simply click here and you can uh, change the shape as per your requirement so uh, here actually everything is okay we can change anything but we can uh, if I use here 8 inch okay 8 inch diameter okay if we use here 18 diameter then okay 
sorry uh, for 18 diameter our minimum piece will be 2.33 minimum piece will be 2.33 so i'll just consider 2.25 2.25 then click ok then ok so now see uh, it's also okay here 149.1 this is also can okay. if i click here and here area of reinforcement is provided 1.84 square also if we provided number okay number five bar and if i provide four bar maybe um that's also okay but for circular as per aci code we have to provide minimum uh, five or six bars so here okay so everything is okay and our design is design have completed now what is the uh, value here six into number uh, six bar okay i mean uh, six number five bar here and the tie is 2.5 inch uh, three mm, number three bar in 2.5 inch center to center so simply click finish and see here is the cross-sectional view and here is the data so in this way you are able to design a structure or i mean a member of a building easily so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video and if you think that this is helpful for you then obviously subscribe to our channel and also you can connect me to linkedin for any discussion that link are given in description so still stay connected till next video